Hello, welcome back to Azawa's TV again. This is part 24 of the build for this thing, my electromechanical wooden clock. I need to effect some repairs because I'm having some power issues. Huh? Huh. So today, we deal with that. Stay tuned. So this is a new charge controller and battery that I'm going to be using in the clock because both the battery and the charge controller itself have died and have long since gone. I've got to put out the old charge controller, put this in its place and it's much smaller so that's going to be fun. And then everything should work so let's show you on the old, on the clock where this is going to go. So here is the problem. A couple of weeks ago I left it running just on battery power, didn't have the mains coming in at the bottom or anything else. I just left it and it ran for almost seven days straight, just on battery power mind. And it's brilliant. And then it stopped, as can be expected when the battery runs out. So I plugged it into charge and nothing happened. Turns out the battery had died, and um, not died as in run flat, I mean actually died as in run completely flat. Now LiPo cells, most of the ones, and this one did, I checked, I absolutely checked have a charge protection circuit built into the top of the battery so that where the battery was there the yellow capped on tape was here it was on top of there that circuit stops the battery from both overcharging and also undercharging I think the minimum voltage it can be is 2.4 volts then after that it stops accepting voltage and actually got down to less than one volt I think it's like half a volt so I left it plugged in and it, it wouldn't charge at all or sometimes it'll, it'll take a light, it'll tiny little bit of charge and it's enough to light an LED. I plug into the clock and it completely die again. So the battery completely knackered. But not only that, but the charge controller chip itself, which is here, and I'll show you that zoomed in in a second, was actually getting really, really hot when the battery was charging. So something was very wrong there. So all of this needs to be taken out and replaced with this. Now this is the charge control chip right down in there. And I've gunked black Sharpie marker all over the top of it so I can try and record the temperature. And it's getting well past 80 degrees Celsius, so something was very, very wrong there. It's far too hot to touch. So, today's video is going to be taking this out in its entirety, binning it, and putting this in its place. The replacement battery I'm using is a lot smaller, also, so I might make a new one of these at some point. Don't know when yet, but for now, it, it can just rest in there doesn't need to be as big as the old one because seven days on battery power is, is more than a single day is enough and they should run it for a day so let's get building some bits let's get unsoldering this and running it just off the pin headers here and then see if everything still works it's off it's unscrewed let's unsolder some bits I've got a thing going on here, it's really weird. I don't know, I don't remember doing this. But this bit of wire goes across and then disappears under the circuit board. But there's nothing here underneath for any of this for it to bond the two. So I don't know what's going on. So the power comes in here into the charge controller, the battery connects there, and then everything comes out of these terminals. So that should be it. So if I'm unsolder there and there, I can pop this off and Put the other one back in its place. Let's go. Get the soldering iron out. So, there was nothing going through the circuit board into this. So, what the hell was I thinking with this bit here? The silver bit. That's crazy. I must have done that for something, but I don't know what. Oh well. This part, the green part, I'm keeping. Because that should still work. This is the boost regulator. This takes the 3.7 volts from the LiPo. Boosts it up to 5 volts for this circuit to work at. Because this thing has everything built into it. It's got the LiPo charge circuit in here. This over here is the boost circuit. 
So this bit I can use for something else. So winner winner. Right, that took a fair bit. Got the output from this wired up to the rest of the circuit so I can plug the battery in. And that comes on because it's enabled by default. And the reset line works. Just about to see that LED in there. Blinking, excellent. I'll turn off the output. Don't get anything. But that still lights up because I need to put an enable switch on here. So that'll be the next job. And then I can sort out the input which is into here from the USB jack. Then the circuit's done. I can put it back in a clock. Tremendous. That's that all soldered up. Nice. Right, I've plugged the battery in. I'm going to sort of bend the lead round so it goes around this switch. Get this obnoxiously bright blue LED. Because blue LEDs, you know, everyone and their wife still wants blue LEDs. It charges through there, but I've wired this up to this underneath everything. So if I get into Charles, I'll get an orange LED come up. This one's on up here somewhere. So that all works. I always forget that wrong. On. That's all flashes. Excellent. So let's put this in a clock. Plug the servos back in. Call it good. And just like that, she works. Took a bit of a fiddle because I had some things connected to other things. And when I took out the old circuit, everything got disconnected. I didn't reconnect it. I thought it was all connected already. So. There's no power going to the servos, but everything else seemed to work. So I'd press the um, reset button, it'd flash and everything else. The servos didn't move, so that was a good hour or so trying to debug that. But it all works great. Case in point. So that is it for this week. Unfortunately, it's been late. It's now Wednesday I've uploaded this. So I'm very sorry about that. It's just completely got me down this project. So I've been uh, trying to sort a lot of things out. Had problems with video rendering as well, so that was fun. I had to sort that out last night. But anyway, that's it for this week. If you like what I do and you want to see more, give me a big thumbs up because it really helps the channel and my video quite a lot. Leave a comment down below in the doobly doo if you've got any questions or any tips or anything else you want to see. Get subscribed if you're not already subscribed and hit that notification button so you know when I upload. It's normally every Tuesday. It's every week. Let's say it's every week. But it's almost certainly Tuesday. 99.9% .9 of the time, it's a Tuesday. This week is a Wednesday, next week will be a Tuesday. So stay tuned. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next week. Thanks a lot.